Hey YouTube, uh, I've been getting a lot of requests to do how-to videos since my um, breaking into a locked power meter video has been pretty successful. So uh, I like to bake and I like doing construction stuff and pretty much anything that re you know involves using your hands and putting things together. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make delicious chocolate chip, well not chocolate chip, but delicious chocolate cupcakes with this recipe I have. It's really easy. The recipe will be down in the description and um, I'll also talk to you about it as we're making the cupcakes. So you're going to preheat the oven to 350 and what, what I got here in this, uh, in this bowl is uh, two and a quarter cups of flour, two cups of sugar, a uh, teaspoon and a half of baking soda, a tea, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and three quarters of a cup of um, cocoa powder. So go ahead and put that into your mixer. I go ahead and uh, I like to do it like this so I can incorporate all the dry materials really good and in this way um, it ensures even flavor and uh, even consistency. Now we'll go ahead and we'll start our mixer on low. We'll add one cup of vegetable oil like that, three eggs beaten, we'll add one cup of coffee, that enhances the flavor of the chocolate, and we'll add eight ounces of sour cream. And once all that is mixed and incorporated to where you see one solid color, it is done. Now don't over mix it or else you won't get a uh, soft uh, aerated cupcake. So it'll be dense and you don't want, you don't want dense cupcakes. That's it. And that's the batter. Now what I like to do is, um, I buy the double layer uh, cupcake liners. They're foil and they're wet and they're the uh, parchment. And I separate them because so basically I get uh, two cupcake liners out of one, and uh, it saves you. I mean, even though they're inexpensive, you know, sometimes I, I've had to bake a couple hundred of these at one time, and it's uh, it's nice not to have to go buy a couple hundred cupcake liners. So uh, I get this done, and then we'll fill them up. So what I use to fill the cupcakes to ensure that they're all even and the same size is I use a quarter of a cup uh, scooper with the uh, spring-loaded action on it. It makes it really easy. And I just tap it and then I fill it and it's uh, that easy. So we'll go ahead and uh, this recipe is supposed to make 36 cupcakes but uh, I never get 36. Maybe, I'm, maybe I overfill them. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I don't get 36, I get about 30, and, uh, and it's that easy. See, you don't, don't have to worry about filling, filling a bag and piping them in, you just use this scooper, and then put them into the oven, 16 minutes on 350, and that's it. And then I'll show you how I ice them when they're all done out of the oven. Okay, so... You can see here that they're done. They're out of the oven. There's more over there. My son already took one out of the pan, but that's okay. Um, although I can make homemade frosting and icing and buttercream and all that, uh, we kind of prefer the already done stuff in the can or in the jar. So um, this is how I frost them, and then they're done. So we take a cupcake, take a knife. I'm sure you guys already know how to do this, but... Put it on, slather it around, and that's it. It's done. Enjoy.